We did it. Me di Shloido. All those late nights, all those hours spent working through the daylight, until the moon was the only thing we could see glow. Say goodbye to the takeaways, as we take away invaluable growth. All the research, maybe it allowed you to search within yourself, to push through the inevitable challenge ahead. Maybe it helped you find that resurge of energy. Maybe at university is where you had your light bulb inspiring moment. That realization is monumental in leading you to your next destination. All the lectures, we thank our lecturers, our mentors. All the stress, the laughter, the thousands of words typed. The references, oh, we won't miss writing references. The new friendships we made, the new experiences we braved. From Landaf to the Kingoid campus, sing your anthem on the track and on the grounds. Wear that cap and gown proud. You've painted your canvas with memories, and when you throw that cap up, remember it represents you floating in this melody. What a time to be alive! We did it. Ni di shloido. We earned our degree with perseverance, with self-belief. We worked hard. We earned our achievements. Use that knowledge developed and self-awareness to do what makes you get out of bed in the morning. I promise, then you will flourish. You might not know it, but you are an inspiration to somebody. Maybe it's a family member, a younger brother or sister, or somebody you spoke to on a night out, or somebody who has seen you doing you. We are all vibrations, but you get to choose your frequency equally. Somebody out there is proud of you, and you should be proud of you. You are reaching high altitudes. Increase the raw amplitude of your empowering voice, and allow it to bellow out so the sound connects where goosebumps form on the back of necks. Just like that moon on those dark nights, you are glowing. Whatever your aspirations are next, I know you will be flowing, riding the wave of life, reaching higher heights. So keep growing. You are in control of where you're going. We did it. Ni di shloido. Keep on believing in your ability. Use your energy to form your legacy. Congratulations. This is graduation. Shlon gavach yadai. Dama eich radio. But you might have a ceremony of Gradio, previous called Metropolitan Cadiz, a government of our real Dewey Ville at Die Victory, Die Anchi. Friends and guests, we are proud to welcome you to Cardiff Metropolitan University graduation ceremonies for the class of 2023. You have made it. Just a couple of housekeeping points. Can you please make sure your mobile phone is on silent for the ceremony? We do not expect any fire alarms today, but should the unexpected happen, the staff of Wales Millennium Centre will escort you to the assembly points. We would ask that you all remain in your seats until the conclusion of the ceremony and the stage party has processed out. Let's show our appreciation of all our students by applauding, cheering as the graduates process across the stage. We want you all to enjoy the day to ask you to respect others who are also graduating with you. We know that you want everyone to enjoy the day as much as you will. Now, if I could ask you all, please, to be upstanding for the academic procession. Diolchan mm.
distinguished guests, I declare this congregation open. Please be seated. I now call upon the President and Vice-Chancellor, Professor Kara Aitchison, to give the opening address. Prynhanda, a Chrysokinis in Ceremony Radio, Lord Mayor and Honorary Pro-Chancellor, Chancellor, Chair of the Board of Governors, Honorary Graduate, Students' Union Officers, colleagues, graduands, families and friends. It's our great pleasure to receive students from across Wales and the wider world for this graduation ceremony for the Cardiff School of Sport and Health Sciences, Class of 2023. And we're delighted that we do so in this magnificent setting. And this afternoon, in addition to students from Cardiff Metropolitan University, we're delighted to welcome students from Cardiff and Vale College and Dimensions College in Singapore, one of our 13 international partners from around the world, which together offer Cardiff Met degrees to a further 12,000 students. And crossing the stage this week, will be 3,580 students from 96 countries stretching from Afghanistan to Zimbabwe. And this is a ceremonial occasion. It's evolved over your university's 158 year history. But it's also a celebratory occasion. And I encourage you to show your appreciation for your fellow students by applauding the last as loudly as the first. And our desire to make a difference in the world is writ large in the work of your school. And I want to acknowledge the leadership shown by your Dean of School, Professor Katie Thurloway, and Deputy Dean, Professor Hugh Wiltshire, together with the wider team. Following the award of the Times Higher Education UK and Ireland University of the Year title in December 2021, we were delighted to receive the People and Planet Award of the number one UK university for sustainability in December 2022. And during the course of this last year, you've provided many more reasons for us to applaud your achievements and those of your fellow students and staff. And here are just a dozen or so achievements from your school over the last year. Many of you have contributed to the recent development and delivery of the Cardiff Move More strategy and to our Open Campus programme, which provides physical activity, sport, health and wellbeing opportunities to thousands of school children from across Cardiff, widening opportunities and raising aspirations. Anjali Chauhan, a podiatry student, was awarded the prestigious Mitax Global Research Internship and spent 12 weeks at the University of British Columbia in Canada researching vibration stimuli in people with diabetic neuropathy. Dr. Claire Glennon and Dr. Heidi Sage ran a highly successful accredited psychology module for asylum seekers and refugees, giving learners the opportunity to come to campus and experience being part of a university community. And just last week, Heidi and Claire were awarded the Vice-Chancellor's Award for Civic Mission for their work. Professor Phil James, in collaboration with Cumtaf Morgana Health Board, has received over a quarter of a million pounds in funding from the Stroke Association to test new biomarkers for stroke that could improve stroke prevention. And Professor Diane Crone is leading a team at Cardiff Met who are part of a £1.7 million three-year multi-centre project funded by the National Institute for Health Research 
aimed at supporting older people to become more active, more connected, and more engaged. And Anna Stembridge, senior lecturer in sport coaching, has been appointed deputy chef de mission for Wales Commonwealth Youth Games in Trinidad and Tobago. And as some of you will know, Cardiff Met's cricket team were crowned Bucks national champions in 2023. And many Cardiff Met alumni have also been in the news over the last year for their sporting achievements. Rosie Eccles has been selected to represent Team GB in boxing at the Olympics. Adele Nicholl won gold in the shot putt at the UK Athletics Championships. And Jeremiah Azu set a new Welsh 100 metres record at the same event. And having been selected last year as one of four UK centres for Premier Women's Wheelchair Basketball, Cardiff Met will now become the Welsh Rugby Union East Wales Women and Girls Rugby Development Centre. The school has also had significant success in developing teaching through the medium of Welsh, this year providing health students with the opportunity to learn Welsh while studying for their degree for the first time. The school has also secured funding from Coleg Camraig Canad Lythol for three PhD studentships to conduct to conduct Welsh medium research and the school has developed an increasing number of modules to enable students to learn through the medium of Welsh. In addition to all of these achievements there's one student receiving his degree today whom I'm particularly proud of and at the risk of embarrassing him I'd like to mention Brad Woolridge. I first met Brad when I started as VC seven years ago he just finished his first degree and had become student union president, and he was an absolute joy to work with. Since then, Brad has completed a master's degree, a teaching qualification, and today he'll graduate with a PhD. He secured a lecturing position at Cardiff Met, and as if that wasn't enough, he was the captain of Cardiff Met Football Club during its most successful period in its history, when it won the Welsh Premier League Cup and played in the UEFA Europa qualifying round. Brad, you're an all-rounder, you live our values, and you're a wonderful ambassador for Cardiff Met. For all of us... <laughs> He definitely deserves that round of applause. It's been a long stint. Um, your university, and this is for all of you, has four values, four behaviours, and one motto. And as you embark on your graduate journeys, I ask that you celebrate your values, our values, of creativity, innovation, inclusion, and trust. And you live our behaviours of leadership, courage, agility, and accountability. Your university's motto is the most valuable possession is knowledge. And as you make your way in the world as health scientists, sport scientists, sport coaches, teachers, in your communities and all around the globe, please remember that you developed your extensive knowledge and skills during a global pandemic where you overcame some of the most difficult challenges in the most difficult of times. Wherever you're from, however challenging it's been, and whatever route you took to arrive at this place on this day, you're here now because you've been successful. In almost all cases, your success will have been supported by the teaching and guidance provided by my colleagues here on the stage and by many of your family members, friends and supporters in the congregation. So together we'd like to congratulate you just as you might wish to show your appreciation for all those who have helped support you to arrive at this place on this day. Congratulations.
My colleagues and I are extremely proud of each and every one of you. Please be proud of yourself. Enjoy this great day of ceremony and celebration. Many thanks, many congratulations, Dielchenbauer. President and Vice-Chancellor, I present to you students who have been awarded within the Cardiff School of Sport and Health Sciences. Dr John Fernandes will announce the students who have been awarded Bachelor of Science in Sport and Exercise Science. Imogen Lee Allen. Tilly, Tilly Anima. Anya Atkin. Hannah Bagby. Harry Baker. Jack Bates. <laughs> Joanna Elizabeth Bayliss. <laughs> Lana Beatty. <laughs> Emily Bembo. Dylan Bevan Jones, <laughs> Reese Britton, <laughs> Hermione Louise Brown, <laughs> Neve Buckley. Anya Butler. Nathan Byrne. Matthew Cameron. Hannah Charles. Joanna Chesworth Rickards. Jack Chevin. Gabrielle Clark. John T. Collins.
Thomas Coomba. Jake Courtney. Jacob Wellcoat. George Craig. Charlie Davy. Darren Davy. Reese James Davies. Craig Davies. Ashlyn Densham Gibbons. Alfie Doddridge. Harris Eddy. Corbin Evans. Nia Evans. The prize for the Bachelor of Science with Honours in Sport and Exercise Science, Saren Evans. Samuel Ayres. Matthew Faircloth. Sebastian Lewis. Adam Gelhorn Day. Oliver Gibbon. Khalees Gillard. Chris Gaffin. Patrick Green. Morgan Grieve. Elliot Griffiths. Harry Haddon. Harry Hancock. Anna Hamilton. Laura Haler. Amy Hinsley. Rosie Holland. Yasmin Hooper. Danielle Hopkins. Lloyd Hughes. Megan Half Hughes. Thomas James Hughes. Matthew Isles. Daniel Irons. Bora Isgin. Jaden Jackson Smith. Ethan James. Samuel Jardine. Oliver Jeans.
Archie Graham Johnston. Aaron Jolly. Harry Ross Jones. Mason Jones. Brianan Sean Joseph. Louise Joyner. Harrison King. Toby James Kinnerly. Jenna Curley. Isoa Corey. Matilda Joanna Lee. Ellis Reese Lewis. Joseph Elijah Lewis. Joseph Lisk. Evan Lewis Lloyd. Charles Burton Lupo. Hannah Loscombe. Amy Maddock. Sebastian Mallet. Theo Martineau. Joel Mattox. Ralph Miller. Alice Mitchell. Bradley Morgan. Matthew Malarkey. Jacob Monkley. Harrison Murphy. James Murray. Lily Paul. Ethan Perry West. Lloyd Pittman. William Pitt. Jasmine Powell. Emily Grace Prosser. Alice Randall. Thomas Rees. Kira Reeves. Gethin Roberts. Adam John Robertson. Marnie Grace Ross Johnson. Marino Manga. Josh Saunders. Thomas Saunders.
Ben Williams. Lewis Joshua Sharon. Charles Shaw. Owen Southern. Amy Jane Stagg. Ethan Stevens. James Stevens. India Still. John Tossel. Hannah Tregett. Graham Peter Trevor. Izzy Tustin. Barnaby Waddle. Eleanor Walters. Hermione Warburton Hogben. Ewan Weaver. Oliver Welch. Craig West. Lewis Weston. Kira Wheeler. Rodri Williams. Isaac John Windley. Imogen Wood. I'm delighted to see Lara graduate today, achieving an outstanding degree despite many personal challenges and external commitments. Lara has not only overcome adversity, but has been a strong advocate for others facing similar challenges, working with the media to highlight these issues. Despite arriving at Cardiff Met very uncertain about whether she could succeed, she's been totally committed and achieved excellence. It's wonderful for Lara and for us that she's looking to publish her undergraduate dissertation and to continue her academic pathway here with us at Cardiff Met. The winner of the Cardiff School of Sport and Health Sciences Dean's Award is Lara Jones. Dr. Michael Hughes will announce the students who are being awarded Master of Science in Sport and Exercise Science. Peter Ajay. <laughs> Niall Ellis. Nikki Hoare. Mariam Kanafchian. Matthew Kilbane.
Charlie Mayle. Harry Morgan. Lance Stevens. Ewan Thomas. Felix Wernham. And for the Master of Science in Sport and Exercise Science, Biomechanics, Jake Brooksmith. <laughs> Phoebe Granfield. <laughs> Millie Pierce. Natasha Powell. And for the Master of Science in Sport and Exercise Science Physiology, Kieran Henderson. Thomas Gostilo. Jonathan Randell. For the Professor Stephen Melilieu will announce a student being awarded Doctor of Philosophy. At the highest levels of sport as an athlete, you're either injured, recovering from an injury, or about to get injured. <laughs> Rugby union uh, is a contact sport where the likelihood of injury is, is high, uh, with knee injuries in particular, uh, one of the highest occurring injuries, and also one of the injuries that keeps you out of the game uh, for the longest. Um, understanding how to rehabilitate the knee injury in order to return a player quickly, uh, safely, and successfully uh, to sport is of key relevance and importance, therefore, uh, for a sports medicine practitioner. Molly's PhD thesis was the first research of its kind uh, to study the biopsychosocial changes of Welsh professional rugby union players with long-term uh, lower limb injuries in their journey to return to play uh, again. Specifically, in her thesis, Molly was based with one of the Welsh professional rugby union regions, collecting a range of biomechanical and psychological data from long-term injured players on a weekly basis over the course of three playing seasons. This included a very challenging season of data collection during the COVID-19 uh, global pandemic. The novel findings of Molly's PhD thesis suggest that rehabilitation from lower limb injury is not a straightforward linear process. And despite players progressing in terms of their movement outcomes, in their return to play journey, biomechanical deficits may also be present, which may increase the likelihood of further injury on returning to the sport. As part of a thesis, Molly developed a framework to describe the rehabilitation of lower limb injuries, and this framework will significantly enhance how sports medicine practitioners work with injured rugby players and athletes to support them to return to play safely and successfully. Molly's work is an example of the world-leading research being conducted in the School of Sport and Health Sciences. It also highlights the significant impact the university is having on society in a range of different ways, both nationally and globally. For the thesis titled An Interdisciplinary Investigation into Return to Play Following a Lower Limb Injury, Molly Francis McCarthy Ryan. Lucy Kemba will announce the students who are being awarded a foundation degree in science, sport conditioning, rehabilitation and massage, Cardiff and Vale College.
Jasmine Hacker Jones. Non Jones. Lucy Payne. The next graduates are receiving the awards Bachelor of Science with honours in sport conditioning, rehabilitation and massage. Jed Anthony. David Asprey. Ellie May Austin. Reese Barnfield. Hannah Barrett. Ryan Biggs. Megan Black. Charis Bowen. Jessica Brooks. Katie Carr. Millie Carter. Casey Cayford. Samuel Clark. Will Cochran. Regan Cooper. Joseph Cow. Samuel Cowman. Kai Davis. Robin Ashley Davison. Callan Davis. Adam Dorban. Emily Kate Dilks. Joseph Dizon. Megan Donaldson. Samuel Down. Claudia Duckney. Joshua Edwards. Chloe Efford. Reuben Elcock. Lewis Ella. Reese Flower. Anna Friend. Charlotte Garton. Joe Gasson. Chris Gibson. Amelia Gibson. Callum Glue. Liam Gover.
Yayan Kanastan Grace. Olivia Green. Emily Louise Griffiths. Leah Griffiths. Ewan Gwyn. The next graduate is the recipient of the Mike Wadsworth Award for the best academic performance on BSc, sport conditioning, rehabilitation and massage. Robert Joseph Haley. Megan Estelle Hawkins. Felicity Hind. Davith Hopkins. Alfie Hurl. Matthew Hutchinson. Daniel Ince. Oliver Ionascu. Ella Louise Jenkins. Ellis John. Davith Jones. Jake Jones. Mitchell Jones. Molly Mae Jones. Molly Jones. Reese Jones. Sean Jones. Jordan Keast. Megan Lewis. Hayden Mark Lidstone. <laughs> Abigail Lucy Lloyd. <laughs> Oscar McKenzie. <laughs> Misty Marshall Welling. Ellen McLean. Jake Daniel Montgomery. Sonia Navas Galindo. Samuel Notice. Brian. Nathaniel Perry. Katie Plank. Thomas Anthony Poyner. Matthew Reese, <laughs> Livy Eve Richards, <laughs> T 
Thomas Michael Roadknight. <laughs> Benjamin Yian Robinson. <laughs> Megan Rowland. <laughs> Nathan Sandland. Anna Beth Saunders. <laughs> Lucy Claire Saunders. <laughs> Harry Shears. <laughs> Emily Steer. Emily Storey. <laughs> Jacob Reuben Simmons. <laughs> Elise Turner. <laughs> Bailey J. Myron Warren. Bethany Way. Danielle Wells. Nia Katrin Williams. Flynn Woodward. Aliyah Worthington. <laughs> Natasha Rafe. Professor John Oliver will announce the students being awarded Doctor of Philosophy. This PhD thesis drew on Sal's experience as a strength and conditioning coach. It examined how cues, the words we use as coaches, as instructions for our athletes, influence the ability of young athletes to produce force, speed and power in a range of tasks. An interlinking series of studies demonstrated that the words that coaches use are important, that different cues can lead to different outcomes and how athletes adopt movement strategies to produce force, speed and power in a range of tasks. Published peer review work from the thesis will help coaches in the real world providing evidence of how different cues should be used depending on the goal of training, whether that be trying to reduce injury risk or trying to maximise performance. Therefore, for the thesis entitled The Effect of Different Cues on the Ability of Young Athletes to Generate Force, Speed and Power, and the Award of Doctor of Philosophy, Saudium Brewerless. <laughs> This PhD investigated the effects of introductory resistance training on the movement skills of boys and girls in years seven to nine. The research was supported by Sport Wales with the view that both strength and movement skills were important in enabling children to be physically active and those who take part in sport to succeed and to avoid injury. Ben was able to successfully embed resistance training into PE curriculum in schools of lower socioeconomic status. His work not only provides quantitative evidence of the benefits of strength and conditioning to young children, 
but he also provides qualitative insights and reflections on the difficulties of setting up these types of interventions in the school environment. Therefore, for a PhD entitled The Effects of Resistance Training on the Athletic Motor Skill Competencies of Secondary School Children and the Award of Doctor of Philosophy, Ben Pollan. Professor Rodri Lloyd will announce a student being awarded Doctor of Philosophy. This PhD thesis examined the way in which maturity status and resistance training interact to influence the development of physical fitness and golf swing performance in young golfers. The body of work, which has produced five peer-reviewed manuscripts, involved a critical review of the youth golf training literature and the development of a practitioner-focused questionnaire. This was then followed by establishing the reliability of golf swing variables using a TrackMan launch monitor and their relationships with key strength and power characteristics. Finally, a 12-week training intervention showed the beneficial effects of resistance training on physical fitness and golf swing performance in talented young golfers. James's PhD was, com was completed in collaboration with Wales Golf and supported by European funding from the KESS2 scheme. During his candidature, James worked as a strength and conditioning coach with the national governing body, providing service provision to the country's most talented young golfers. It is testament to James's abilities that he was able to produce a high quality PhD thesis with multiple publications and deliver excellent strength and conditioning programs for Wales golf, despite the fact his candidature coincided with the COVID-19 pandemic. James has recently secured an academic post at Manchester Metropolitan University, where I'm sure he will continue to showcase his talents, work ethic, and commitment to both research and applied practice. Therefore, for a thesis entitled The Effects of Maturity Status and Resistance Training on Golf Swing Performance in Young Golfers, and the award of Doctor of Philosophy, James Shaw. Adeline Miles will announce the students being awarded Master of Science in Strength and Conditioning. Louis Chapman. Jake Colley Davis. Mia Connybear. <laughs> Dorwid Rubazniak. <laughs> James David Nolan. <laughs> Cleon Davis. <laughs> And for the program award for the Masters in Strength and Conditioning, Maisie Ellen Goodmanson. <laughs> Olivia Hughes. <laughs> Andrew Inch. Joshua Jones. Thomas Morgan. Natasha Morton. Edward Price. Madeline Grace Raya. <laughs> Sophie.
Sophie Richards. Ben Mesa Roach. <laughs> Stefan Reese Thomas. <laughs> Mia Washington. <laughs> Jack Yendel. For the award of the Master of Science in Sport Rehabilitation, Ellen Drake. Woo! Connor George. <laughs> Anna Goggin. <laughs> Aniket Sanjay Goeker. Joseph Gunyon. <laughs> Amy Healy Brasher. <laughs> and for the Programme Award for the Masters in Sport Rehabilitation, Rashmi Naik. <laughs> Aaron Osuji. Oliver Quick. <laughs> Rachel Grace Taggart. <laughs> Professor John Oliver will announce the student being awarded Doctor of Philosophy. This PhD thesis examined hamstring muscle activity during sprinting and in different strength training exercises with a view to help reduce hamstring injuries in rugby union players. The research was conducted with the Welsh men's rugby sevens team and our own Cardiff Met Bucks men's side. The research provided new insights into strength training exercises that have been less commonly used when trying to protect the hamstring muscles from injury in the demands of intense team sports. Novel findings from the PhD have helped to evolve our understanding of how different exercises engage the hamstrings and other surrounding muscles. The research built on Adeline's extensive experience as a physiotherapist and also as a senior lecturer in sports rehabilitation. In fact, during the time while studying for a PhD, Adeline also managed to find the time to create and lead our programme, the MSc in Sports Rehabilitation, which has proved to be hugely successful and popular with students around the world. Juggling a PhD in an academic career is challenging something that Adeline managed to handle very well and is a, a testament to her dedication. I know she was well supported by her colleagues, but more importantly, her close-knit family. Therefore, for a thesis, thesis entitled Lower Limb Muscle Activation During Sprinting and Hamstring Strength Training Exercises, Implications for Mitigating Hamstring Injury Risk in Rugby Union Players, and the Award of Doctor of Philosophy, Adeline Miles. Dr. Karen Howells will announce the students being awarded Master of Science in Sport Psychology.
Ellie Depledge Barr. Leon Georgi. Erin Louise Howard Cook. Kia Megan Hunter. Ellen Lewis. And the award, uh, sorry, Luke Stewart Matthews. Adriana Mulfauer. Alice Pugh. Megan Rowland. Professor Owen Thomas will announce the students being awarded Doctor of Philosophy. Graduates, as you have parents, family, friends, you may even know yourselves, work can be stressful. Hopefully you'll find that out when you move into the working world. One particular working context that is particularly acute is within the police force in the UK. Helen's thesis tried to examine this. She worked with two British police forces over a concerted period of time to try and understand some of the well-being issues officers and staff faced within the police. Helen's program of work was targeted in, towards trying to understand a better need for wellbeing support for these groups. Helen's work has impacted across British policing with her thesis findings informing wellbeing strategy at the National Police Chiefs Council. To date, two peer-reviewed international research publications, several national and international keynote presentations and a British Psychological Society Conference Award Prize are associated with her work. At her Viva Voce examination, Helen's PhD was praised by her two external examiners as being an exemplar of excellent doctoral work. Indeed, Helen's PhD was awarded to her with no corrections required. This is a very rare outcome. One of her external examiners commented that in the 37 previous PhD vivas he had conducted, he had never given such an award. Perhaps what's even more impressive is that Helen realized her thesis on a part-time basis. Whilst holding down multiple other short-term research assistant and learning and teaching contracts with Cardiff Met University. Further, a large proportion of her data collection took place during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic when the police forces she, were working, she was working with were under considerable pressures at an operational level. In some Helen's thesis and empirical work from it, the impact it has had for worker wellbeing on UK policing are a programme of work that she should be immensely proud of. It is a programme of work that I and the rest of the Helen supervisory team feel very privileged to have been associated with. So, for award of Doctor of Philosophy, for a thesis entitled, A Co-Design Approach to Exploring Physical Activity, Stress and Wellbeing in Two British Police Forces, I present Helen Oliver. So with this one, it's a bit more difficult because the Vice Chancellor's kind of already stole my thunder a little bit here um, because she gave a little bit of an introduction to Dr. Bradley Waldridge in her opening address. And what's quite telling, I think, is I didn't know she, that the Vice Chancellor was going to do that, and she probably didn't know that I was going to say a few words about Brad today, but 
the congruence between what she had to say and what I have to say is very reflective as, of, of Bradley as a person. So I think that's testament to him and his qualities. Um, so having said to you graduates that work is stressful, being a student is stressful. You all can appreciate that. You've all managed to work your way through that journey and are successfully sitting in front of us today. Brad's thesis, his program of research, was realized in response to that stressful transition into the student lifestyle to try and better understand how we, as academics and universities, can support you through that transition. Hang on, I've lost my place. His work has been presented at multiple leading higher education conferences and has helped shape our own approaches to how we support our students here at Cardiff Met. Brad's commitment to ensuring the well-being needs of students are met well beyond the boundaries of his PhD. His passion, drive and support to support students during the time of emerging adulthood as they transition into higher education and work through their journey, a testament to, to him and his academic responsibilities that he now holds. Brad's external examiners praised how the work undertaken within his thesis focused on enhancing how students could directly support our students. Again, his work took place on the backdrop of the COVID-19 pandemic, and they praised how his research contributed to the direct support of the students that were engaged in his research. On a personal level, myself and the research supervisory team have been privileged to support Brad and see him grow over a number of years. I've been fortunate enough to have supported Brad as an undergraduate dissertation student, student, a postgraduate, master's student, and within his PhD thesis. He's a great all-round academic and a really valuable asset for us here at Cardiff Met. The clear empathy and experiential knowledge he has related to the student life cycle is something that he's really passionate about and brings with him in the values and behaviours that he displays when working with you, the graduates of our university. So it gives me great pleasure to give the award of Doctor of Philosophy to Brad Woolridge for a thesis entitled Demands and Wellbeing in University Students, a study of undergraduates at Post-92 UK University. Well done, Brad. I will now um, um, give the oration for the honorary doctorate. Chancellor, Lord Mayor, Pro-Chancellor and Honorary President, Chair of the Board, President and Vice-Chancellor, colleagues, honoured guests, graduates, family and friends, it is my pleasure to present the award of an honorary degree of Cardiff Metropolitan University to Fiona Kinghorn. Fiona, originally from Jebber in the Scottish Borders, is the Executive Director of Public Health at Cardiff and the Vale University Health Board. She has an MA Honours in International Relations and French from the University of Aberdeen, a Master's Degree in Public Health from Cardiff University. She is a registered nurse, has a Diploma in Tropical Nursing and is a Fellow of the Faculty of Public Health. Fiona has extensive experience in the NHS and other arenas, including working and studying in many parts of the UK and internationally in Europe, Africa and the Middle East. She's held leadership roles across three different healthcare organisations in South Wales. These roles have included being a consultant in public health, a deputy director of public health and an executive director of public health. During the pandemic, Fiona led the public health response for Cardiff and the Vale of Glamorgan, including strategic responsibility for the mass vaccination programme for the eligible population in our region. In this role, she worked closely with local government and other key strategic partners to ensure a rolled up, joined up approach to protecting the local population, to enable us all to return to a more normal way of living. 
Fianna demonstrated incredible leadership through these difficult few years of the pandemic, and the success of the vaccination programme is a testimony to her person-centred, altruistic style of leadership. Fiona is passionate about tackling health inequalities and in systems working to improve the health of people. Her approach is one of embracing change. She is a leader who listens to her staff and works closely with partners, fostering a collective approach to doing things differently to make a strong and positive difference. Her support and high-level buy-in from the start for the Cardiff and Vale Move More, Eat Well strategy is a prime example of this. Move More, Eat Well is a contemporary systems-based approach to encourage, support and enable people to be active and healthy, healthy in Cardiff and the Vale of Glamorgan. And we're particularly proud at Cardiff Met that our Centre for Health, Activity and Wellbeing Research have been an active partner in this work. And I personally have thoroughly enjoyed working with Fiona on this continuing project. The Move More Eat Well programme also provides an excellent example of her leadership and how she supports her team. She actively encourages them to think widely and differently around ways of doing things at different levels of the system to make a tangible difference to the lives of people of Cardiff and the Rail. And what do her staff say about her? She makes you feel valued and that your contribution and opinion really matter. Fiona isn't just all about work though. She's a huge advocate of healthy eating and physical activity in her time away from work. She's an avid walker and a regular attendee at Parkrun. She's a keen gardener often bringing the fruits of her green fingers into work to share with her colleagues. She is also active on Twitter with a respectable 2,500 plus followers. She uses this medium to be an advocate for physical activity, healthy eating and equality, diversity and inclusion. As a respective figure in her field, Fiona has had significant impact on the health and well-being of the people in Wales and protecting and promoting the health of her people in Cardiff and the Vale. She's absolutely committed to considering different ways of working to make the change we need in addressing health inequalities in our society today. We're really looking forward to working with Fiona in the future to further develop how Cardiff Met staff and students can contribute to the physical activity, health and wellbeing agenda of Wales and the wider world. Chancellor, Lord Mayor as Pro-Vice-Chancellor and Honorary President, Chair of the Board, President and Vice-Chancellor, it is with great pleasure that I present to you Fiona Kinghorn, who it is today an esteemed and deserving recipient of an honorary degree of Cardiff Metropolitan University. Thank you for these kind words, Professor Thurlowe. Chancellor, Pro-Chancellor and Honorary President, President and Vice-Chancellor, Chair of the Board, and all staff and students of Cardiff Metropolitan University, I'd like to sincerely thank you for this prestigious award. I'm absolutely delighted and feel very privileged to receive it. I'd also like to thank my husband, Paul, who's sitting here today for his love and support through the years of my career. I'm particularly proud to receive such an award from this organisation. Um, President and Vice-Chancellor, uh, I listened to you describe the launch of your organisation's strategy earlier this year, and I've never seen such an excellent articulation of the interconnected vision, strategic objectives, strategic programmes, values, behaviours uh, and mission of an organisation as I saw you articulate at the launch. This is clearly a progressive organisation. I feel very aligned to the approach that you take, whether it be your ethical stance, your connection and application of learning with local communities, your international collegiate approach to education, your entrepreneurial partnerships, and of course, our collective partnership, uh, as has been mentioned, to physical activity and sport, including active souls in the workplace. To all the graduates in this beautiful setting in Cardiff, the capital of Wales, congratulations. What you have achieved is fantastic. 
I know it will have needed a lot of hard work and effort over many years, including through the pandemic, the pandemic to get to this point. You should be very proud of your achievements. When I look at the array of disciplines that you've completed your degrees in, it's clear that you will be very much in demand in the public sector, uh, in Cardiff, in Wales, in the UK, and much further beyond. If I can give you any advice, I'd highlight these couple of points. My first point is look after your well-being as you journey through your career, as well as the well-being of those around you, whether that be your partner, your family, your workmates. Having just gone through a pandemic, the likes of which we might never have imagined in our lifetimes, it's clear that well-being is one of the most important things we need to protect. Working life offers great opportunities. It can off also offer uh, some strong challenges as we try to juggle work and home life, particularly in the current UK and international context that we face. So please make sure you prioritise your health and well-being. It will be key to your resilience over the period of your career. My second point is, of course, work hard in whatever you do but also sees opportunities to do things differently and better when you see them. You can achieve whatever you set out to achieve if you work at it. I grew up in a very supportive family. My dad was a shepherd in the rural Scottish borders. My mum was a housewife and a dinner lady. They worked incredibly hard. There wasn't much resource around, but they strongly recognised the value of education for their children. It's through those solid foundations and hard work and perseverance that has led me to the role that I hold today. Perseverance is a leadership skill. And in today's context, the status quo may not be the best future often, or option. There are always ways to improve and adapt things for better outcomes. I had an excellent mentor once who said to me, I should energise the change. I look forward to seeing you energise the change in your future careers. Good luck. Thank you for this award. I very much appreciate it, and I will honour and cherish it for many years to come. Thank you. Valerie Scully will announce the students being awarded Master of Science in Occupational Safety, Health and Wellbeing. Al Snozzi Al Bukharim. <laughs> Opuso Jacob Anamani. Inkurika Vivian Ayasina. <laughs> Isaac Teo Ayadei. <laughs> Halamat Oladeli. Mayowa Teo Shoga. <laughs> Iwali Olumaidi Fapuhanda. <laughs> Kanaka Kishan Bandaru. <laughs> Calvin Correa. Winston Chirion. <laughs> Kosiso Chukowo Sarah Chinwezi. <laughs> Sivasan Karan Dana Sakaran. <laughs> Dania Babu. Okay, 
The student has gained the Programme Award for the MSc Occupational Safety, Health and Wellbeing. Molly Farr. Ashan Rana. Leonard Ayadeli Ogandana. <laughs> Adora Miriam Okonkwo. <laughs> Blessing Ayamidi Oladosu. Elogin Isimenmen Owewi. Paul Jolly Punalil. Oliuto Timi James Sode. Jessel Joy. Anu Vijayan Sushama. Olimaidi Peter Adateo. For the Master of Science in Occupational Safety, Health and Wellbeing Dimensions. Muhabid, Muhammad Sorry, Fadeus Malik. The Student-Led Teaching Award for Outstanding Postgraduate Tutor of the Year is Valerie Scully. Alistair Tomlinson will announce the students being awarded postgraduate diploma in applied public health. Vaisak Raju. <laughs> Najla Valuvampali. To receive the Master of Science in Applied Public Health, Keris Adams Jones. <laughs> Hannah Thomas. Oluwanifemi Mercy Bamadele. <laughs> Foluso Tumbi Adani Bashulun. <laughs> Romoke Bokola Akane Ranye. Selena Favor Unwazi. <laughs> Ramat Omoze Amedu. <laughs> Tiwalade Temetayo Babalola. <laughs> Amala Benki. Sneha Rahul Bavishi. <laughs> B 
Bharat Kumar Haribai Chowdhury. <laughs> Rachel Omayemi Idamembo. <laughs> Valerie Kobina Abraham. <laughs> Felicia Olabumi Dixon. Luwatoyin Esther Elubadebo. <laughs> Omotola Oyasola Esho. <laughs> Abosede Abiodun Adebayo. <laughs> Alice Aditola Fadare. Rhoda Temitope Adeyemi. <laughs> Priscilla Olawoyo. <laughs> Nike Adewole Garosalaka. <laughs> Priyan Marin. Mariam Amalola Mudashir. <laughs> Mus Najnin Naha. <laughs> Oluwakemi Olajumoke Makinde. <laughs> Memory Moyo. Sylvia Omawig Barale Taylor. <laughs> Innocent Onyabuchi Namchi. <laughs> Peace Udoka Odekpe. <laughs> Oleinka Olayeme Ogunjobi. Aluatosin Adenike Olagunju. Alua Damilola Fumilayo Saibu. Uyi Peter Oren Saib. Adewale Daniel Oniide. Julie Unkiruka Osai. <laughs> Sravan Kumar Piduru. <laughs> Isabel Roberts. <laughs> From Milayo Ajoke Uwagwe. Tolulope Olofunke Sani. <laughs> Ria Taivalapil Daiju. <laughs> Kenichukwu Chibundom Ujam. <laughs> Shinenye Vivian Ukachukwu. Pratika Lama. <laughs> to receive the award of postgraduate certificate in food science and technology, Henry Eniola Akinrotoy. <laughs> to receive postgraduate diploma in food science and technology and food safety management, Sakshi Paras Doka.
to receive Master of Science in Food Science and Technology with Food Safety Management, Ogene Ogwe Godwin Akise. Ganesh Kumar Reddy Bhupati. Aisha Sultana Mohammed. Milan Pudel. Joseph Kappen. Rahul Sekar. Jidhu Thomas. Trazon Sunny. Abiola Olalekan Tosho Obembe. Srikanth Vanapali. Okay. To receive the award of Master of Science in Food Science and Technology with Food Innovation and Development and the Louise Fielding Programme Award for MSc Food Science and Technology, Nishitha Kanan Kanan. To receive Master of Science in Applied Public Health, Preeti Tamang. <laughs> to receive the award Master of Science in Strength and Conditioning, Sarah Louise Dawes Clark. This concludes the students from Cardiff School of Sport and Health Sciences. Will all students stand please for the admittance by the Vice-Chancellor? Through the authority vested in me by Cardiff Metropolitan University, I admit you to your various awards as indicated in the programme and to all the privileges of those awards. Congratulations, class of 2023. Well done. I ask you now to all please be seated. I now call upon John Taylor, Chair of Cardiff Metropolitan University's Board of Governors, to give an address. Distinguished guests, uh, and specifically the graduating class of 2023, congratulations on your success. The, all the staff and the governing body of Cardiff Met are immensely proud of your achievements. And as been mentioned a few times uh, this afternoon, you've done this in the most difficult of times with uh, the, the, the COVID restrictions that 
placed on everybody. You're now alumni of, uh, and, and therefore ambassadors, for Cardiff Metropolitan University. As a graduate, you're now part of the growing Cardiff Met alumni uh, around the world. And we've actually got just over a quarter of a million graduates uh, across the world. So you're joining uh, a pretty big club. You're all starting a new chapter in your life as a Cardiff Met graduate. Just remember, the university will always be here to support you, and we want to continue to help you make success of your life. We do offer practical advice on employability, careers, and if you really, if you need any assistance, please come and, come and ask. Can I make a plea that you, you keep in touch with us and allow us to continue to help you? In particular, let us know about how your successes and how you're getting on in life. Because what we'd love to do is share that with the graduates of, or the undergraduates uh, of tomorrow because people learn from the success of, of others. Remember, class, you've acquired an education and a set of professional skills underpinned by the values that the Vice Chancellor was talking about. And what I hope that does, it just enables you to be a really good global citizen, a citizen of the world. You know, you've, you've got the power uh, to do good with the education that you've, got, you've gained at Cardiff Met. Once again, on behalf of the university, can I wish you all the very best for the future. Thank you. Frinjai agwith deion, a chi graddedigion dwy fila dai victory. Friends and guests, and you, the class of 2023 graduates, we hope that this day was worth waiting for and that you have all enjoyed this graduation ceremony. Do continue to celebrate throughout the day and have a safe journey home. Please, can you all be upstanding and remain standing until the platform party has left the auditorium. I call upon the Chancellor to formally close this ceremony. Dear Distinguished guests, I declare this congregation closed. Many, many congratulations to you all. Thank you.